Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at game theory and what I'm going to do here is look at this 2x2 two two matrix game that's just up here. So we have the role player and the column player and this is a little payoff matrix there. So I'll just take my pen out of the way. Okay, now we're going to sort of solve this uh, using a set of equations and it is based on these cell identities. For example, the top left is a top right is b bottom left is c and bottom right is d so for example four is d a is five and so on okay so the first thing we're going to do is actually calculate the value of the game and then we're going to uh, compute the optimal strategies for both players okay now uh, something you should check beforehand is to see if the game is strictly determined or not in this case, it's not. I'm going to sort of skip past that part, but I'm, uh, I invite you to check it yourself. Okay, so what we're going to do here is the formula is as follows. AD minus BC over A plus D minus B minus C. Okay, now, first off, the value of the game, if you are familiar with the uh, formula for the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix, the, the numerator there of that equation actually should look fairly familiar. It's how you would compute the determinant of a... Uh, it's part of how you would uh, compute the determinant of a 2x2 two two matrix. Or a, actually, it is the full formula. Now, uh, A plus D minus B minus C. Uh, well, just actually sort of like... Uh, the best way to approach this actually is to look, for, uh, look at it from a visual basis. That it, it actually looks very similar. All we are doing is replacing multiplication with addition. Also, I'm going to remark on the fact that A and D, which are the diagonals here and here, will always have sort of positive sort of calculations at uh, uh, attached to them, okay? So, A, D minus B, C, okay, uh, over A plus D minus B minus C. Just another remark, actually, is that this uh, denominator... A plus C minus B minus C, we actually use that same calculation five times, okay? So uh, you only have to remember it once, essentially, because it's the, de the denominator for all of the other equations that we are going to use, okay? So I'm going to sort of um, reveal, and I'm going to push this up a little bit, okay? I pushed it up a little bit too much there. But essentially what we're going to do there is just look at the top of the screen here. I'll just bring this back down. A is... Uh, 5 and D is 4 so 5 times 4 okay uh, minus uh, minus 2 minus 1 okay so j just be careful with signs here actually that's a very important thing like um, so minus 2 minus 1 is plus 2 so we have uh, 20 minus 2 okay which is 20 minus 2 so we have 18 okay 5 plus 4 minus minus 2 minus minus 1, they, that is uh, 12, okay? So the value of the game is 18 over 12, which is 1.5. Further that, to that, you can make the remark that that is favorable to the role player. Actually, I'll just put that in, fa favorable to player 1, the role player. Okay, it's a bit wobbly there. So, what we're going to do now is calculate the optimal strategy for the role player. And then we're going to do the same thing for the column player. Okay, now again, you should just double check in advance that it's not a strictly determined game. Okay, so what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to calculate two identities here. So, the, essentially, the role player uh, P0 or PO o for optimal is comprised of. It's a row vector, essentially, of probabilities x1 and x2. So we have to calculate these probabilities x1 and x2. So what we're going to do here is use these formulas here. Okay, I'm just going to scroll up. Okay. This is the first one here, x1. Actually, I'll just scroll up a little bit more. Okay. Now, what I'm going to just actually sort of... I'll just actually... Let's just actually focus on the formula. So I'll just blank that out for a second. Okay. So we have D minus C and uh, A plus D minus B minus C. 
So what I'll just actually first off remark upon is the fact that the denominator and both parts is the same as it was before. That's automatically going to work out to be um, 12, okay? So I'm gonna sort of disregard that from now on. Something else I'm going to remark upon is that A and D are in positive positions here again, and B and C are in negative positions. So we have D minus C. So you can sort of see that D is in the positive position and C is in the negative position. A is in the positive position and B is in the negative position. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm just gonna sort of scroll back to the uh, this uh, layout here, okay? And just to actually remark that with the D minus C, so it's actually, uh, X1 is essentially how often the role player should play the top row, and X2 is how often the player role player should play the second row, essentially. Okay, so it is actually, for the top one, it's actually another visual cue, it's D minus C. So it's actually uh, the opposite row, or the opposite column. So for X2, it's A minus B, okay? So there's sort of two visual cues there that you can use to actually help you remember this just because quite often these are formulas they're not given because actually there's five of them and they look quite com uh, cumbersome but actually once you get used to them you realize that there is a pattern to them okay so let's just actually work that out okay so let that focus in there again okay i think it's gone out of shot let's focus that i'll pause it a second So when we work it out, we would see that D is 4 and minus, uh, B is minus 1, so minus minus B. And therefore, we get uh, 5 over 12 and A minus B, okay, is 5 minus minus 2, which is 7 over 12. I'll just go back up here again to just sort of highlight that fact. So this is D, so we're just actually trying to sort of uh, figure out how often to play the top row. So we actually look at the second row, the bottom row. 4 minus minus 1 is 5. And the top row, how often to play the bottom row, 5 minus minus 2 is 7. So 5 out of 12 and 7 out of 12. Great. So what I'm going to do now is actually sort of just look at uh, the optimal strategy for the column player. Okay, now this is actually very similar sort of calculation. Okay, I've actually ne uh, neglected to put in the um, the formula, but that's actually sort of semi-deliberate, actually. So what I'm gonna do here is that how often that the column player should play the um, for first column and the second column, okay? So let's just go back here, Y1. And Y2, okay. So just actually recall that D is always in the positive position. And also actually we always start with D. So Y1, okay. So we actually go D minus B, which is four minus minus two, okay. And now how often, to, what the, prob the probability to play Y2, it's A minus C, okay. So we're actually, we're looking at the opposite column from Y2. So that is A minus, uh, minus C, it's four minus minus two, and um, five minus minus one. So that's six over 12 and six over 12, once you count the denominator. So let's just check that again. There we go. No, I actually put in the formula for this one. I actually messed that up. Anyway, so, but, uh, there we go. It doesn't really matter. So that's the formula there. I actually have it, uh, I actually just put up the wrong page there for a second. But that is the actual full answer there. So it's a half and a half. 6 over 12, 6 over 12. So we leave that there.